Virtual live performances and live performances combining digital forms have become a new trend in the creative industry through the pandemic. Based on this broader context, discussions on contemporary performance practice and music creativities beyond traditional conventions have constantly been raised over these times. As a composer, performer, and researcher, I'm more interested in the meeting point between historical and contemporary performance practices in the context of these new norms. Also, as a creative practitioner um, who constantly needs to persuade industry professionals such as program directors, agents, instrument makers, and record labels to disseminate and present my artistic works to the wider public, I often deal and aware the need of realizing these technological changes and how they might be implemented in the broader public and social context. So in my artistic research in programming and performing unusual repertoires, I often think about how such new practices may help performers to create new performance opportunities and present unusual repertoires with extended long forms, which are generally less performable due to traditional concert paradigms and formats. In order to facilitate a deep understanding of such issues about performance practice, technology, creativity, and their coherent relationships, in this presentation, I shall share two case studies exploring new domains and solutions for performing and presenting music beyond traditional canons in the digital age. So the case studies that I'm going to speak about today are my 18 hour long composition and performance, uh, Sonata Fantasy, inspired by music with extended forms by composers such as Frederick Jewski and Morton Feldman, and a collaborative project called the Richter scale, combining a one hour a long piano cycle with extended piano techniques composed for me and Steinway's latest automatic player piano, Spiro R, by German composer Boris Bergman. Hopefully, they will provide us with a fuller perspective about how technological and digital means can offer performers with new insights and the possibilities in composing and performing repertoires with unusually long forms. Before examining the performance of my 18 hour long Sonata Fantasy in the digital age, I'd like to uh, start the discussion with introducing some contextual study of some existing long compositions. Outstandingly for me, the Polish American composer and pianist Frederick Jewski has written several long solo piano works, including his um, People United Will Never Be Defeated variations, which is over one hour long, written in reminiscence of Beethoven's diabetic variations with a sophisticated musical structure. On the next level of length, Nerzhevsky's 10 hour long piano work, The Road, uh, which the composer himself described as a novel for solo piano, consists of eight parts and 64 pieces, uh, each standing for one a mile in the work's journey. For a wider contextual study, composer Sorabi wrote many long-form works for piano, such as his uh, piano symphonies number no. four, number no. five, number no. six, each lasting about uh, four to six hours, um, and his uh, symphonic variations for piano, which last about nine hours, etc. Also worth mentioning is American composer Morton Feldman's piano work, many of which are considered to be long form music. And Feldman once commented on his um, one of his uh, long work, Tragic Memories, and he said, I think the reason um, the piece are so long is that form, as I understand it, no longer exists. Um, I'm not looking so much uh, for a new form. I'd rather substitute the word 
uh, scale or proportion, and in music, it's very difficult to distinguish between a thing's proportions and its form.、Um, my piece aren't too long. Most pieces are actually too short. Based on these existing context references of long-form compositions,、um, I started to write my eighteen-hour-long composition sonata fantasy in early 2020 during the pandemic, when many things had changed their long existing forms and established practices. When I firstly composed this、uh, long piece. It was initially designed to be performed only in a utopian scenario and、um, not to be expe- expected to be performed in the format of traditional concert setups. However, by the time the sonata fantasy was finally completed in late 2020,、um, digital and online performance practices had temporarily become、uh, the new、uh, the major new trend for. Performers and audiences to connect with each other, and the public and the industry seemed quite approving of these compromised forms. Therefore, after having made my effort in discussing with industry professionals such as、uh, concert promoters, agents, sponsors, record labels, etc.,、um, I had the opportunity to be able to perform it in an eighteen-hour non-stop. Live performance setting with a live audience at the Wave Lounge of Citopia Cultural Community in Qinhuangdao, a town on the east coast of China, from 7 a.m. on December 31st, 2020, to 1 a.m. January the first, uh, 2021, with the extended dimension of streaming it online. Considering um audiences. Physical needs.、Uh, the、um, stage area was isolated from the auditorium, so that the audience could walk in and out during the entire performance without having to interrupt my performance. And here is a short video clip of the live performance and its setup. Thanks to the digital streaming platforms, the piece has also been recorded and is available for people to listen to online. Although the questions such as whether a live concert have to be within a prescribed length may not have been discussed explicitly within the performance industry,、uh, based on the well-established concert acquaintance,、uh, one might be optimistic. With the foreseeable future of seeing more unusual live performances and their related studies、um, in this digital age, one of the pieces of evidence here is that the changing of perception towards the lens of music seems to be a long-discussed and ever-evolving topic. In response to it, for example, Alfred Brendel once said in one of his articles about Schubert's last. Three piano sonatas, which was criticized for being too long, acquaintance with Brucknerian and Mahlerian dimensions has eased the perception of wide musical spaces. 
seen in the, such a context, Schubert almost um, see, seems like a model of economy. A change of aesthetic appetite has occurred. Concert marathons are produced. Boundless is beautiful. Where Schubert's music used to be appear too long, suddenly it cannot be long enough. Reflecting on Brendel's quotation, one might observe that the discussion of composing and performing long musical works has always been the two sides of the coin. So with the development of both technological means and new performance practices being accepted by both performers and the public, it is possible to believe that more unconventional performances with less known repertoires will become more accessible. The other case study that I'm going to introduce, the Richter scale, is the first substantial work composed for Steinway's new automatic player piano, Spiral R, and a human player by German composer Boris Bergman. Um, this one hour long hybrid new work provides another example of how digital means can serve the purpose of fulfilling composers' artistic goals and aspirations and helping performer to deliver another level of sound, colors, possibilities during a piano performance. There are 11 movements in total in this piece and four of them consist of rather complicated musical textures that it requires the automatic player piano, Spiral R, to be played together with the human player simultaneously. So as the performer myself, I had to pre-program part of the score into the piano beforehand and then play it against myself during the actual performance. So uh, for the first time, the Spiral R has been configured on the Steinway Concert Grant Model D to enable four hand pieces to be played by two hands. The secundo score is uh, firstly recorded in playback mode and then combined with the live um, primo part performed by myself. And there is a cadenza uh, passage in movement number nine, which was inspired by the reverse of the Mississippi River caused by the huge earthquake. That the music becomes so intense and complicate, uh, complicated that it could not be performed by any human player. So this cadenza part was programmed as a MIDI file, um, as um, and it was pro, uh, pre-programmed into the Spiral R piano, and here is the recording extract of this cadenza passage. <laughs>
Speaking about another level of collaboration based on this project born in this digital age, part of its artistic outputs were, um, was also outreach to another musical genres, which shows how digital means can help practitioners break boundaries and make new opportunities. Uh, this original piano piece was com uh, composed in 2019 and supposed to be recorded in 2020. But as the pandemic hit the industry at that time, most recording studios uh, were not accessible during the lockdown. So the recording of the original piano piece was only be able to be preceded in 2021. However, while the recording of the major body of the work wasn't possible uh, during the pandemic, the composer and I worked together remotely to create the premixes with um, Finnish sound artist Khan. Uh, I recorded some of the two-handed movements and some of the four-handed movements from the Richter scale piano version in my home in London and sent the uh, sound samples to Khan in Berlin, who created remixes of these movements with electronic and MIDI sound uh, softwares. Here is a recording extract uh, from these premixes. <laughs> While retaining the element um, essence of the piano composition, the premixes add an entirely new sonic dimension to the original piano movements, fusing these elements with a collection of other electronic sounds, moods, and emotions. In conclusion, although there are few practice based research within the performance studies field on how music with extended form might be performed on and beyond concert stage. And there are few systematic studies on how physical and mental inputs and consequences it may be required and led from the performer uh, to undertake such long performances. My artistic experiment may provide with possible and viable solutions to prove how feasible it might be to present such unusually long and demanding works to the real market and explore such non-traditional format of performance in this digital age. This digital means and new ways of engaging with audience through creative performances also um, offer um, new um, possibilities for performers to persuade concert promoters, sponsors, directors, and uh, record labels to undertake new ventures and create a bridge between practices preceded within the academic fields and the contents delivered in the actual performance culture. Thank you very much for your attention.